everybody and you're watching the skiddy today's video i am going to use this manual tire changer to take this tire off the wheel and to put it on my dump trailer so i know a lot of you are probably thinking why would you do that just take it to a tire shop don't risk tearing the bead just go the easy route well i'll tell you this i can do it here for free and take that money and buy my kids dinner tonight or i can take it to the tire shop and not have that money so please hit that subscribe, help me put dinner on the table for the kids tonight, and I'm gonna show you why that tire needs to be replaced, and then I'm gonna go through the frustrating process of trying to figure out how to use this tire machine to do a full-size car tire. Here we go. All right, so here's the trailer, and I let my neighbor borrow it here recently. He had some dump runs he had to do, and sure enough, I got this thing back with one messed up tire. Well, that's why I got to change it out. And here we go. So first things first, this tire's uh, fully inflated. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the valve stem core out, let the air out. Heading ahead. That was easy. That was really easy. Soapy water, leaky bottle, non-working bottle. This is what happens when you leave your stuff out in the sun all the time. All right, good and lubed up.
right, so I'm inspecting the bead. Make sure I didn't tear anything. And it all looks good. Now I gotta go take the wheel and tire off of the dump trailer. Do the same thing. Switch out the rims. And my dump trailer is back in business. That one was a little harder.
I'm getting over there, getting done with this one. Add some water to my soap, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna start prepping this wheel. I got a bar of soap here, just basically as a dry lube to put on the steel wheel here. And that's gonna hopefully help everything kind of slide on in place here a little easier. So I'm just gonna get that nice and lubed up. Now the reason I like using soap is it's not petroleum based and it will not degrade the rubber on the wheel. So I don't use anything like WD-40 or any kind of oiled lube because you definitely don't want to hurt your tire. So, all right. Now that the tires, the wheels lube, I'm gonna go ahead and lube up the tire. And I'm just gonna check and make sure these tires are not directional. No arrows so it can go on either side. Get some lube on here. Get it all in the inside of the bead and right here. That way, uh, hopefully nothing tears. And because I'm doing this in the sun, I'm just gonna go a little overkill with it. Keep it nice and wet while I set the tire on. So I'm gonna use the hook to end here. side I'm trying to do this quickly don't want to fall though all right nice and soapy So it's starting to bind up. So I'm just gonna push down a little bit here to give the tire a little bit more clearance to suck in. All right, it's on. see if we can uh, set the bead the easy way without having to use any kind of explosives. This is less than ideal, but uh, it's actually really nice for setting the bead. So I've taken the tip off of my little air sprayer and it just happens to be the same thread as the tire valve. So I'm gonna go ahead and spin this on.
Things are looking good. All right, so this is a load range E tire, so I'm going to inflate it to 80 psi as it states here. back on the trailer. back in business but I want to share one thing with you guys really quick I'll be right back all right so I need to go clean my hands here really quick but I wanted to share something with you I wanted to turn to Matthew 11 and hear what Jesus said here in verse 28 actually let's let's start yeah we'll start with 28 come to me all you who labor and are heavy laden and I may and I will give you rest take my yoke up take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light this job could have been a lot more difficult and this brings me peace so I hope that it uh, inspires you to accept our Lord Jesus Christ and his his yoke is light and his burden is easy and with that, 
I will see you guys on the next one. Here's a little sneak peek of what's coming up and I hope you enjoy. Oh, uh, you know the kill switch? Uh, it's on the left handlebar. There you go. Sweet.